This is the third in a series of videos where I'll be working through the creation of this scene from design, modeling, UV mapping, texturing and animation. If this content interests you, but you have no patience, check out my Udemy course for more in-depth ArcVis courses. Use the link in the description below for a discount. Hit the subscribe button under this video and use the bell icon for notifications. Also hit that thumbs up so this video reaches more people. In this video we continue and set up the outline of the house. We import an FBX file and position on the site. When we left this in the last video, the buildings were below the surface of the plane, so let's snap the buildings to the face. Select the buildings and open the object data tab. Here we can click the minus and remove the vertex group on this object. These tags won't be needed, so remove each one. Now we can click the plus and create a new vertex group. We will use this group to specify what vertices will snap to the surface of the plane. Double click and rename this snap. Back in the scene, press numpad 1 for front view. Press Z and switch to wireframe shading. Now we can tab into edit mode. Drag select all the bottom vertices. Now over in the vertex group, we can assign the selected vertices to the snap group. Let's switch back to solid shading and tab back to object mode. Now open the modifiers tab and from here we can add a shrink wrap modifier. Then use the eyedropper tool to select the plane we want to snap onto. Then in the vertex group field, select the snap group. Press G, Z, input 10 and enter. Let's tab into edit mode. I can zoom in here and find the location of this new house. This will be the site here. Switch to face select up top. Select the top two faces now. Press X and delete vertices. This is hard to see, so press the forward slash key to isolate the object. Switch to vertex selection. Hover on the remaining vertices and press L to select these. We can place the cursor here as the insertion point. Press Shift plus S and put the cursor to select it. Press P and separate this by selection. Next, we need to import an outline of the house in the form of an FBX file. First, we can tab back to object mode. I can drag in a web browser. This can be found on the asset page of my website. Just scroll down the page. This one here for video tree. Click the download FBX file. It's called base.fbx. This is a zipped file, so you'll need to uncompress it first. Once you get that downloaded and unzipped, we can open back up Blender. Press F4 and from import, we can import FBX. Then just select the file and import. That gets added at world zero. We can select this. Because the site is rotated, it's best model from its current position. So what we can do is press Alt plus D to make a linked duplicate and right click. With the cursor still at the site location, press Shift plus S and put selection to cursor. Press numpad 7 for a top view. Press R now and rotate this outline to match the rotation. With the linked duplicate, we can now select the first object and tab into edit mode. Notice how we are also in edit mode of the duplicate. While we model this house, these can stay linked, then make single user once complete. We can tab back to object mode. Let's come to the outliner and press the period key. We can move this object into a new collection. Right click and create a new collection. Rename this house underscore geo. Then we can drag and drop the outline object inside. Press numpad minus to close down the collections to see how many there are here. That's four collections. You can use the numbers across the top of the keyboard to isolate collections. In the scene, we can press the forward slash key and return to global. We can hide all collections except the new house geo collection. So press four and hide the remaining. Now tab into edit mode. With it all selected, press E, Z, input 6.2 and enter. 
The overall height of the building is 6.2 meters. And that's the base shape of the house in position. 